So good morning boys, welcome to another online sociology class. So my last video explanation was mainly on gender educational achievement. That is the question was why do girls do better than boys at school and today we are going to look at why do girls underachieve compared to girls. So today's topic is going to be males educational underachievement. So we have five sociological explanations with regards to male underachievement at school. The first one is boys may be treated differently at school, especially from their teacher. And then another explanation is boys tend to be more confident. Third is decline in the traditional male job. Fourth is laddish behavior on behalf of boys. And lastly, we have boys tend to have different skills and interests as well as different leisure activities. So first explanation that is boys may be treated differently at school. So boys tend to underachieve at school because of behavioral problem compared to girls. They are also treated differently by their teachers because of this behavioral problem. Unlike girls, boys tend to speak out and misbehave openly because they come to school to be noticed and have fun. Another reason is boys tend to be too confident with regard to do well for exams without any revision and pre or preparation in advance. They overestimate their ability and believe that they can do well without even studying or revising for exams. On contrary, girls are the complete opposite. They estimate their ability and they believe that they have to work hard to succeed in their studies. Third reason is there has been a decline in traditional male jobs. So due to the decline in traditional male jobs, that is manual work, boys now believe they have little prospect of getting a proper job. Therefore, boys undermine their motivation and self-esteem and they give up the idea of getting qualification. So another sociological explanation is boys having laddish behavior. That is, laddish behavior simply explain that it would be uncool to work hard in school and therefore for a student to do so, it would result to be unpopular in class among their peers. For boys, peer up Acceptance is very important and therefore in order to gain peer acceptance, they prefer to neglect their studies and do not work hard at school. The last sociological explanation for boys underachievement is boys tend to have different skills and interests as well as different leisure activities. For example, Parents spend less time reading to their sons. Mothers do most of the reading to young children. Thus, this is seen to be a feminine activity. Boys pursue more time into sporting activities and computer games and activities. And this do very little to develop their language and communication skills. So this was the explanation for male underachievement, educational achievement, sorry. So this was an overview of both male and female educational achievements. So this slide provided, this explanation provided a more in-depth explanation with regard to male educational underachievement.